Ever wondered how to make your own civilization? How to create a society to dominate the known world? Here is your simple guide to turn your Neolithic clan into a civilization of the future. And by future, I mean the Bronze Age. Here's how to get to the Bronze Age. What? You gotta start somewhere. So, modern humans have been around for about 200,000 years, give or take. But ever notice how we only have archaeological evidence of cities dating back to around 10,000 BC and writing to around 3,000 BC? Turns out, this has nothing to do with being lazy. There was actually a good reason why we don't have any Ice Age civilizations out there that we know of. The real reason is energy. Specifically, the energy that humans need, which is food. Before 12,000 years ago, every human on the planet pretty much either hunted animals or gathered plants to bring back to their settlements. However, these settlements could never have been cities for reasons like they had to be moved, for example, like on people's backs, to follow animals and weather patterns. Don't even get me started on some Even if they could be permanent though, there simply wasn't enough free labor, since everyone had to feed themselves back in a world where a thousand calories of work would yield more or less a thousand calories to eat. At best, they could feed their kids. The deal breaker came when people in the certain river valleys started farming. The key difference with agriculture over hunting and gathering is that plants and animals on farms are under control of the humans. This eventually led to the next revolution, which came when farming became so much easier and more efficient that the average person could produce significantly more than they would consume. With this in mind, people started to specialize, mainly at first into defending their stocks. And this is where the age of cities began. Quite simply, this is where people started building permanent structures, writing down how much stuff we had, creating large governments that control more than one city, and forging new technologies, even some to better agriculture and accelerate the cycle. This is where innovation could be, well, innovated. You see the looper on? As soon as someone or some group invents new technologies, some of those technologies go on to advance our agriculture. When agriculture becomes more efficient and can feed more people with less work, that allows some people to specialize and work more in the society. Some of those people go on to play with metals and domesticate animals and create better technologies. And some of those technologies go on to better agriculture, and pretty soon we're writing stuff down, forging empires, financing economies, building huge temples to your gods, crossing oceans on a regular basis, landing on the moon, and changing the face of the earth. This is why technology remained so stagnant for hundreds of thousands of years until around 10 or 15,000 years ago, and why we might see more innovation in, say, a year these days than in the entirety of the Pleistocene. Kind of ballpark estimate, but you know what I mean. The real technological advancement in this is how, in around 15,000 years, we went from nomadic hunter-gatherers living in huts to a global, almost space-faring civilization that can feed itself with cheeseburgers costing 99 cents a piece. Sure, that's partly due to economics of scale, but that's also because we've kind of got the process down from tracking down and hunting the cow to having a bunch of cows under our control, to the point where we know what economics of scale even is. 5,000 years ago, being fat was considered to be a sign of wealth. Now, it's considered an epidemic, even a stereotype. But now we have space travel and YouTube videos. In a sense, society can only progress more and more when eating is easier and easier for people. So thanks for watching this video. If you found it informative and or entertaining, and hopefully both, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe so you can learn something new every Sunday. If you want to learn even more about the history of agriculture and that sort of stuff, I could not recommend CGB Grey's Zebra vs. Horses video enough. Seriously, I linked it in the description.